guys my name is Faye welcome to my channel so by the time you guys will be watching this video it is going to be the first day of January 2024 we made it y'all so I recorded this video the day before New Year's um, basically I was just doing the cleaning that I would normally do, um, I had already cleaned every room in the house, like deep clean, did whatever little makeovers I was going to do. So I knew that I was just going to do a regular Sunday reset. But you guys, I hope you stick around with me. Pop this video in if you need some cleaning motivation and let's get this thing started. from my kids and recently I had um wore the rug in from out my backyard now the rug it was wrapped up in plastic and everything and for some reason these dirty behind cats still found a way to pee on my rug so I was using my shark vet mop to clean the rug and I had put some oil in it inside the um the water canister and you're not evidently you're not supposed to use nothing but the solution that came with it so I ended up breaking it but the good thing was I didn't sign up for a warranty or anything like that but the good thing was that um, when you get a shark back, it automatically comes with a warranty. So I was like, that was so decent. So y'all, even though they sent out another vacuum, which was decent, they had me cut the cord to the old vacuum and they like FaceTimed me while I was cutting the cord to make sure that I actually cut the cord before they could send me out a new vacuum. I was like, they is so petty for that. Like, they real petty for that. But I'm so grateful that they um sent out 
set me out a new vacuum because I love that vacuum. Mm -hmm. So y'all, I'm almost done cleaning my bedroom. Then I'm gonna work my way around to the rest of the house. But tell me why, since I've been doing these edits, the hardest thing for me is making sure that I'm dressed and looking cute, y'all. Like, who cleans up the house and tries to look cute? I don't even have a lot of house clothes that I look cute in. So now, I'm finna be shopping. I'm finna be shopping. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go. Give it up Anywhere you say Anywhere you say other day but i had pre-recorded this she was up so late at night and this is what she did to her room she had wrote all over her bedding but thankfully um the markers are washable but she did manage to get it on her mattress as well so i had to go in and clean her mattress with um some good old peroxide now it's crazy because I used to think I had to use bleach on everything, but if you're trying to get any type of stains out of something, peroxide is definitely the way to go. So I did this about two or three times, just pouring the peroxide on there, and it really, really got the bed super, super clean. I 100% stand by this remedy. I use this remedy all the time, and it never fails me it just never fails me so here is what the bed looks like after i had washed everything down um it was still a little bit wet but it did dry really really fast and um yeah if you ever have any type of stains on your bedding could be yarn anything especially blood blood comes out really really good with this peroxide too Everything else went pretty, pretty fast. Um, I had already cleaned her room before, like I said. So I was just vacuuming. And that was it for in here. I, I really didn't have too much to do in this room. So y'all, every year me and treasure treasure is my daughter we have us a little bonding time on new year's eve where we just sit around and probably like get some snacks watch some movies but this year um my son had cooked for us oh my gosh all the food it was so good but yeah he ended up cooking for us which made it even better we didn't have to worry about that ordering out or anything but we had a really really good time um it's weird because I remember like New Year's Eve, bringing the New Year's in with my friends and we have like, you know, some little drinks and stuff like that. Of course, I don't drink now or anything like that, but it's like I barely hang out with anyone. I had two best friends. One was a boy. 
one a girl and like they still hang out together but they don't invite me anywhere so I'm like I don't know it's I know I still love them and they still love me but sometimes you can't help but to think like hold up y'all like is y'all tripping on me or am I tripping on y'all but then I try to look at it from a good perspective and just say, you know, maybe they just don't want to invite me out because they know that I don't do like a lot of things like drinking or whatever. So maybe if it was like some mom stuff that they were doing, plus I'm older than them too. So they probably would feel like better about inviting me to things like, you know, brunch or just like a little family get together and stuff like that. But like, Going on a trip with me and stuff like that, I already told myself the reason why they probably don't invite me is because I'm just boring. Like, my I'm a vibe. I'm definitely a vibe. But I don't do things like, you know, like I don't drink and stuff like that. So if they ever watching this, they know that I still love them. And I know that they still love me, but... We just in different places right now in our lives, I guess. I mean, and then another thing, we all grown. So it's like they make sound for each other. They don't really like, I don't know. I just guess I feel like people make time for the people that they want to be around. And then it's like the only way I could take it is that is no hard feelings against me because like, I do have, you know, like my husband or whatever like that. That's That plays a big factor, too, in like your social life. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they just don't want to, like, invite me places not knowing, like, will my husband approve of it? Will he be acting crazy if I go outside? Because he could get like that at times. And they probably just like, I don't feel like that. You know what I mean? I don't feel like being bothered with that craziness. Like, we ain't trying to hit nobody disrupting our vibe. Nice. Okay. Why you ain't asking me that I want nothing from Starbucks? I don't know. Did you want something from Starbucks? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It would have been nice to ask. <laughs> gave you some motivation to clean i hope it gave you some time to reflect on your friendships and people who you used to hang out with don't hang out with anymore and try to look at it from a different perspective because you know you love them people and them people love you but yeah we about to be done with this so until next time i'll see you guys later and if you can please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that i can continue to grow on this platform thank you so much i love you guys enjoy 2024 keep things positive and still don't let nobody play with you just get away from them you ain't gotta retaliate you ain't gotta say nothing back don't let them play with you and just get away from them love you Grab a piece. I told you we had beans. <laughs> they ain't hard, is they? No, they 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 don't.